What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you guys are doing really well. Uh, I picked this amazing song. Uh, I'm going to break it down the best I can. You know, there's a lot of fancy chords in it, but uh, it's good for you, and it's a, it's a really cool song, a little something a little different, uh, so I hope you enjoy it. I've got some theory lessons that could actually help with this, um, and they're at my site, GuitarJams.com. Uh, you can try the site out for free for two weeks uh, in the link down there. Really appreciate that support. Uh, you know, liking the video, subscribing to the channel, all the stuff you can do. Thank you so much. First thing we do is we play a D chord. However, it's a D with the A in the bass, so it sounds like this. So that's the first chord. The next chord is in, uh, there's two ways to look at it. You could call it a B minor 6. Um, but the easiest way would be to think of an E7 chord. But it's the B note in the bass. So the first chord is a D with the A in the bass. Then an E7 with the B in the bass. So... And then F sharp minor bar chord. Then, uh, a, you know, these are really kind of piano chords. So the next one is a B7 with the A in the bass. But that would just look like this. The uh, first fret on the D string, open A. Middle finger on the second fret of the G. And a nice piece of the vocal melodies right there on the second fret of the high E. Okay, it's just like a B7, but with the open A. So even if it's easier for you to think of B7 and then really quickly not hit that first note of it with your finger, for whatever reason, however you can do it. So here's what we got so far. D with the A in the bass. E7 with B in the bass. F sharp minor. B7 with A in the bass. Next, there's E major with that B in the bass. Not an E, not an E in the bass. So E major, I'm using my thumb a lot to mute that top string. The next one we're going to call C diminished. Middle finger's on the third fret, ring finger is on the fourth fret of the next string. Index finger's on the second of the G. And then pinky is on the four of the B. So look at the bass notes. You have an E, but you're playing that in the bass. Get used to that. That's going to show up sometimes. So. Here it is from the top. C diminished. Now back to the E. B flat half diminished. Now when I, you know, like minor six, uh, diminished, half diminished, sometimes they, they have other names in music theory. You can call it a few different things. This is how I think of it personally. So I've got the C diminished. Then we go back to that E. Then I'm going to put my index finger on the first fret, that B flat. This is called half diminished. 
or also known as minor seven flat five. Same thing. So that I form a little, what looks normally like what I think of as a D chord, but up here. So it's first fret, second fret, first fret. And then pinky on the second fret of the B string. And then you get into the chorus. So from the E chord, C diminished, E again, B flat half diminished. so forth and so on. One more time, just all the chords. D with the A in the bass. E7 with B in the bass. F sharp minor bar chord. B7 with A in the bass. E with B in the bass. To C diminished. E again with the B in the bass to B flat half diminished. Now the chorus A major. Which that's an E chord actually. However, in the bass, you could play what's called E with G sharp in the bass. So uh, it's another really good one to have. It's a, it's a good secret weapon chord. It sounds really fancy. It's a little tricky at first, but basically what we're doing is we're starting with our middle finger on the fourth fret of the E string. That's the major third of the E chord, and uh, it's called an inversion. My next thing is index finger on the second fret of the D. The A string's just getting muted by my middle finger. Okay. Then ring finger is the fourth of the G, and pinky is the fifth of the B. And it's a nice chord to go from A major. And then F sharp minor again, but we can play F sharp minor seven, which is just with the pinky off. You can interchange them, but for this one, we'll do the F sharp minor seven, and then an E chord. Okay, chorus again, A major, E major, but with that fourth fret on the E string, that, that, that's the G sharp in the bass. Then F sharp minor seven, and then an E chord. And so to get into the next, the, the second verse, we're doing A. F sharp minor, E. So it's the E chord, and then O two three. So E, O two three. E, O two three starts over. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 
Sorry. One more time. Unusual stuff, but pretty natural on the piano, actually. Funny enough, those slash chords, and I don't mean slash the guitar player, the piano chords with the different note in the bass. Uh, lots of stuff on the piano with that. Uh, a little bit harder for our, us guitar players to do that stuff. Now, there's one other thing besides the crazy ornamentation thing that I'm not going to teach. Um, basically, ju just at the end, you just cycle this. Go to that F sharp minor 7 then back up again. See that? If your hand gets tired, you can play that instead. <laughs> but it's not as cool. All right, hope you got something from it. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope to see you again real soon. See you later.